Hi, my name is Dylan Fisher, Regional Sales Manager here at McCormick Systems. Today I'll be taking you through the process of creating change orders in the McCormick Estimating Program. To start, you'll want to open up the job folder and go straight to Step 2 Labels. I've designated the first column of my labels for my bid package, so where it says click to add, I can type in the label of my change order. I'll go ahead and do a change order 1 add and a change order 2 deduct. Next I'll move on to step 3 takeoff where I can do positive and or negative takeoff. I'll hit the drop down here to choose my change order 1 add label. I have an empty audit trail here. I'll go ahead and do the takeoff for change order 1 add right on the plan. Here I have a lighting plan and a revised lighting plan in an overlaid view. I have a few can lights that have been added. So I will select that part from my database. We'll call it fixture B. And I'll just simply point and click on each one of these. Looking back at the audit drill, of course, that's recorded here for the change order one add. Next I'll switch to the change order two deduct. And this time I'll do a negative takeoff on the plan by switching to the negative sign in the ribbon and once again just point and click. I have a quantity of negative two fixture A's in my audit trail. If you don't want to do the change order takeoff on the plan, you can always do manual entry takeoff. For that, we'll simply select the part in the database type in a quantity, either positive or negative, and hit enter. From here we can take the change orders through the next two steps, step 4 extension and step 5 bid summary, just like we did for the base bid and the alternate one. Thanks for watching my short presentation today. To learn more about McCormick Systems, you can schedule a personal demonstration by visiting our website and clicking on the schedule demo link or give us a call at the number shown on your screen.